Hey kids, Treacle here. Welcome back to my channel. Mariah was live on Twitter Spaces yet again and she covered so many topics. Let's dive straight in. Here comes my feeling. It's, oh my god, that feeling? When I feel it. When I feel it. Yeah, oh my god. That I know it when I is I everything. I know it with a different title. Wait, I, didn't, I never knew it as that. The yeah, high note at the end it. is everything. Oh, I did, oh my gosh, yes. did it with mahogany. Wait, Laron, chime in. Did it never come out? Is it? Is that for the, the new rarities? Did it never come out? <sighs> we need yeah, it. it did leak, but we knew it as when I feel it. Yeah. Mariah, did you ever oh, do a that, song with Michael Jackson? Did, well, did I ever do a song with Michael? Yeah, we always heard her. I always heard that you did a song called Satisfy. We no, so we worked on a couple little things, um, and then you know we did the Korean moment that we had together when we went to Korea, and um, when he did the thing on stage um, for like the American moment. I I'm only saying things. Everything with moment, like I'm not being political. I'm just being Mariah. I don't know. It's but the moment, it's just, <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we had a few moments, but more than that, it was our personal moments. And I don't know if you guys have seen some of his moments on that I've seen uh, as of late. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, amazing. So just to confirm, there was nothing in the studio? No, there were, there were things in the studio, but there were other artists on there. So I don't know what got kept, what didn't get kept, mm -hmm. you know, but there's there's... There's things, you know, we find these things all the time. You what? also teased us with uh, with a tweet to Brandy about a collab um, and doing oh the background God, yes. vocals. We would all collapse if you I and Brandy were song night. together. <gasps> oh. Her oh, oh, my God. I love her. The lounge, the whole thing that we're doing, she and I have a whole plan, and I don't want to get too much into it, but we're doing this. We're making it happen. And by the way, there's a whole other thing that's happening with a group that I'm not going to say who they are, but I, and don't I, I give away too many hints. Just be happy for me. <laughs> that's all I have to say. So I don't know how to explain that there's things coming up that I'm so excited about. But I have a question for everybody to lighten up the moment. Yes, wait. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. If you can hear me do a duet, yes. if you can hear me do a duet for Christmas with anyone in the world, who would it be? I don't, don't want to give too much away. I don't want to give too much away. But but it's it's beautiful and it's not like it's it's so not all I want. But it's like makes me feel really happy. And then there's a moment at the end that is going to be I think everybody's favorite. Like it's it's a song that goes from one place and travels to the next. So it really should be a guy. But I don't know, and I would like it to be like a young guy, like whatever. But Bruno like I don't know who you guys like. Bruno you and Bruno Mars. Mars. Yeah, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. yeah I, like it. With Bruno Mars. I don't know. He like I heard maybe Christmas. He, it's not his favorite. They told me. Or the weekend. <laughs> I want to hear Celine Dion collab. Uh, you can ask um, Usher. Yeah, but it would be, but that's a whole different moment. That's his own thing. This is mm -hmm. for my my own Christmas moment. You know what I mean? Like if it's that. Then it's try, yeah, it's try thing. Usher. Would you like a male vocalist? I love or like... Usher, but don't you think we need like, who, who, yeah, I think like a young male yeah, yeah, vocalist yeah, that has their own swag. Yes, the, the weekend would what be cool too. Like, uh, yes, what about like a Post Malone? What about like, not post what about like you a Post Malone said... moment? Oh. Yo, post oh my Malone. god, you and Post Malone, that would be amazing. Oh my let me, god. Let me, let me tell you why. why. So the iconic. song's already written. I wrote the song, right? It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. So, but it's also Christmas, but it's not like Merry Christmas to you, Christmas. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wish Leron could jump in and chime in because he's heard it, but only over the phone. And then it goes into this outro that's like its own magical moment. So it really would take, if they want, if really the truth is, it needs someone soulful to like do it justice because right now it's me and daniel just doing our little thing to it but like i mean i don't know how to say it i just love it i think you guys are gonna love it i hate like ramping up my own th things but i'm just like i'm obsessed with it 
it's R and B um, smooth. Like it'd be cool to have somebody that we think can handle that. Because I was thinking of somebody, and then I, I the whole time I knew like, oh, maybe they're not going to be able to get the R and B ness of it. Right. And then there's a whole gospel session. Like um, it's for you guys. It really is. It's, it's Jasmine Sullivan. One of my favorite collab. things I've ever done. Will you ever release yes. Where Are You Christmas? No. I think yeah. you like this one better. I can. I was I was going to redo that this year, but I love this new song that we wrote so much more that I just did this. Oh, my God. It, it's like a oh more gosh. away soul for Where Are You Christmas. It's like it's like a song from oh my Butterfly. God, hello. Meets me, <gasps> me. Are we getting any rainbow tour footage? Have <gasps> Please, yes. Wow, yes. that's a good question. I mean, we have good to question. find it. You know, I, I did that tour for the fans only. I did not make money off that. It's it's not. People think you make so much money off these tours. And the truth is, if you want to give the fans an experience and make it fun and make it big, that's that's on you. Like, And these people, these agents and people have figured out how to make that a thing where they make the most and it sucks because it's not even like oh i need this for the money it's like i want to i was always doing it for the fans i was always doing it for the fun of it you know so mm -hmm. that's where we're going next i felt like during caution and i'm not slaying myself but i felt like now i feel like now what i'm doing is much more freeing than caution because we didn't have much time and I've been able to work on things like I used to be able to work on them during the butterfly era, during the Mimi era, you know, so I get my time to really listen and be like, do I love this? How do I feel about it? Whereas caution was cool, but it was like, I, I had a lot of collaborators, so that's fun. But for me, and I think for you guys, like when it can be me actually spending the, that two days or three days or however long to get the lyrics exactly how I want them, I like that better than, like, let's rush through something. Why have you never covered Santa, baby? Like, that would sound so good. <laughs> but I think somebody else did that. I don't know. That was her thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mariah, we need, we need, we need to hear daughter. someone's ugly daughter. We need your vocals. We're not allowed to talk about that yet, but let me just tell we you something. It. It's my favorite Please. thing. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite thing on earth. It's just so freeing. Okay. I can't even talk about it. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> One of these days, hear the whole thing. No, yeah, you guys need, you guys need it when I package it. No, no. Yeah, oh, you need my vocals? One of these days, what will. We'll, yeah, I have the original, I have them. Um, yes. But yes. the new way we're doing it, oh my gosh, you guys. How do you guys feel about Roro? How you guys feel yeah, about Roro? It was so cute. Yeah. She was okay. very, yes. very cute. I love it. Is Mariah, so is she funny. involved in the movie so you proud. mentioned? Is she going to be mini Mariah oh, in the Lee Daniels movie? <laughs> we're so she shoot, shoot, guys. Oh, Miss Monroe? Roro is the cutest. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I, if she wants to do it, I, my, my philosophy with her and both of them is whatever they want to do, as long as it's done in a way that's classic, and that's why we did the Oshkosh campaign, because we knew be, it would be classic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's what I want to do with, with both of them. I can't, like, force them to do stuff that then, God forbid, it doesn't come out right, or, like, they're kids, you know? They could say stuff that they don't mean, you know, I'm just trying to protect them, but also inspire them, you know? Um, did you and Aaliyah ever have any moments together um, back in the day? Um, did you guys ever, like, ever, like, th think of a collaboration together, have any moments together, like, hanging out or anything? I mean, hanging out a little bit. I wish we had a collaboration. I loved her music. Um, I, I She came to the studio one time when I was working. And there was this whole thing, and Puff was like, you don't want to say hi to Aaliyah? I'm like, I didn't realize that was her, because she just looked like a kid, like, hanging out, like, doing whatever. I, I didn't, I'm not, like, I don't look at everybody like, who's the star? I don't, I don't I'm, that's not me. Like, people bring friends to the studio all the time, you know? And then and it happened to be Aaliyah and her friend. And, um, yeah, we had a nice moment. Yeah. Mariah, can you say any producers you've been working with for, like, MC16 for, like, the next album? 
No, because it's been me, honey, and that's what they don't understand. Like I'm working with my band, and 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 it's 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 my that's what we're we're capturing, and that's what I feel like you know, mainly the lambs, but even people that aren't, they don't know it all in terms of like my my catalog or whatever. We'll see, oh, here she's talking to the bass player, here she's singing to the guitar player, here she's like creating this background part. It's it's my process because I feel like my my greatest thing or what I love the most is is creating music in the studio. So it's it's a view that no one's ever seen before. And that's why I'm trying to figure out where I want to take it. Like like it, what studio, like how it happens. Because there's so many naysayers that are like, ooh, we've got to see what this is. And I'm like, I really don't care about your input. I'll I'll <laughs> finance it and put it out and buy just like seriously, I don't really want their input. Sorry. It's an artistic <laughs> moment. It's a statement. And I'd, I'd like to give it to people. Like, um, you're seeing me behind the scenes. Like, it's not glamorous. It's not whatever. It's just like, oh, that's how she created that part. Right. You know? And it's yours to share but with us. let's talk about Brandy. You guys are into the Brandy moment. We the Brandy need the moment. Brandy. Is, is we gonna need be great. the Brandy oh collab. We love Brandy. Like, we live for your love R&B Brandy. songs. And you two together on an R&B song. Oh, my God. It would be a smash hit. No, but I, I love. We we were talking about it last night. I was up with at this hour talking to Brandy last night, and we were just talking about like how we were gonna do it, and just like I, we love backgrounds. Both of us love background vocals. Mm-hmm. So, do you have any aesthetics like or like ideas in mind for your next album, like visually? Yes, I, I've been working on it for like this past three four months like it's a it's a vibe it's a whole new era is what we're doing that's what we're doing is there an album cover that's been shot yet it's deeper than that it's a it's so about the music like it really is that i don't i don't even care if i'm on the album cover like i it's it's so much about what i really do that that's why i love it I was very happy to see that the the paperback release of your book um, has the little Mariah photo um, at the front. Is that yes, that thank God. For? That was what I what wanted from the beginning. And then, and then, and then they, that was the best one. It's perfect. Thank you. And, I, I, and I, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for it to come out. So thank you for doing a paperback version too. Is there anything mm-hmm. more with that that we could look forward to? So just to be totally real with you guys, I love that there's a paperback version coming. I love that Little Mariah, because the whole thing is about Little Mariah. The whole thing is about my my inner child self that never had things that I needed and never felt loved and all those things and needed to make music. And, and that's why it touched, you know, for me, other people can feel these moments. But the paperback is going to be a cool moment because Mar- little Mariah gets her shot at, at on the cover. And now we have the, the instant New York times, number one bestseller on the cover mm-hmm. and it's exciting. But I think we don't, don't forget guys, we're going to do something really big for the holidays. We love the holidays. We know that we want to do other things too, but like this can be our entree into the moment and i just want to make sure we can all talk like whenever we can about just fun stuff and holiday festivities like i know that's like oh everybody thinks of her as that but i i I literally do love it that much and have worked been working on a couple things that i think you guys are gonna love Mm -hmm. what was the creative process like and writing those songs for butterfly like the first time you heard Honey together and you heard the Bad Boy remix and you got to hear the sound and type of music that you were fi- like you finally got to make and express your creative The freedom. roof, my all. So a lot of that was, okay, prior to, so Honey, yes. Honey was me and Q-Tip and he had a sample and then Puff and I, and Stevie J like collaborated on making that right, um, and then Mace got on it, and it was cool. 
but like I love it still. When I'm 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 on the jet skis around here, looking at Monroe, going, "That's honey," mm-hmm. like it's a classic. But I mean, I love it, love it, love it. I'll always love it. Um, the roof will never. I don't think I can ever top that. Um, but I, it's a it's a docu song. I said like it's it's real. And what was the other song we talked Mariah, about? Out, out, I what, love, what about love outside? What breakdown was like, and baby what was doll. It like writing outside, like outside that like, that's yeah. that climax on that song outside. It is a vocal showcase and a half. I mean, I, I I'll never get over it. That ending is the most emotional, one of the most emotional parts of your songs. Yes. You mean, oh God knows that you're standing on your own, blind and unguided into a world, mis- you know, divided, we're thrown. That's what I always felt, where you're never quite the same. Although you try, try and try, you know, like, <laughs> I, I just feel like I'm still in that. Like, I, I feel like I wrote a whole last book and people still, they're still confused about the racial ambiguity. And I'm like, what is the problem? And your expression, for your lyrics and your vocals in that song is just on a whole <laughs> nother level. I was listening to that like when I was studying Thank for finals. Just Honestly, to that, that's why I never want to remake it. I never would. I just can't. I just can't top it. Like it was so real from the heart at that moment that I, I just don't want to top it. But I would. I would love to do like even a short film about it. You know what I mean? Like so, so people could see what that means for all of us who feel other. You know, we don't have to specify what it is, but it's other. You know. Let's do this more because it's, it's, I need it. Like, I miss you guys. So much there was covered and I didn't capture everything. There were other questions, other topics. If you can help fill in any of the blanks, hit me up in the comments. What are you most excited about? Let me know. This new Christmas song sounds so exciting because she sounds so excited by it. Brandy, I'm loving that. It's still moving forward. And this new album that she's not really saying is an album, but she's getting behind the scenes footage. What are we thinking? Like a documentary or some kind of live showcase that then gets supported by an EP come album? I don't know. It's so exciting. I'm so intrigued. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.